What's up everyone? It's officially the first week of summer break. It's July 1st, which is also Canada Day. I'm looking forward to some family time and fireworks. So let's get on with today's lesson on how to draw the new Brawler skin Surge on Brawl Stars Wednesday. Now we're going to get started by drawing the four pointed star at the top of our page. Let's start right in the middle. Start with a point. From here we're going to angle up and out towards the left and right side. And then from the top, we're going to come down along the side of the star. Let's start on the left, come down and in, go to the right, and do the same thing. Now we're going to come down and out towards the bottom of the star. And then we'll pull this up and towards the middle. Going up and in with a straight line, and then come down and out towards the right. Now we're going to move to the inside point of the star and draw two straight angle lines going up and out. Let's start with the left side. Going straight out towards the top. And then do the same thing on the right, going up towards the same height. And then from the outside, we're going to curve the glasses coming down and then in. So bend this in towards the bottom to right about there. Do the same thing on the right, coming down and then bending that in. And then from the inside, we draw two straight angle lines going up and in towards the center. We're also going to add a glare going across the glasses. Starting on the top left, angle down and out. Step in and draw that same angle line, coming all the way down towards the bottom. Let's do another one over on the right side. Starting from the top, come down towards the bottom. Now this one's going to be a little bit thinner than the left side. Stepping over coming down. And then we'll connect these two bottom points with a curve. Starting on the left, come down, and then up, and then we'll add the teeth. Starting from the middle, straight down towards the bottom. Now we're going to add one more line on either side. Now we're going to move up and draw on the top of the head. From this point, we're going to step up, draw a curve. Point up, and then down. And then from the sides, we're going to curve the head going out and then down in behind the glasses. Now we're going to move out to the side and draw the outside edge of the head. Starting from the left side, we're going to draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom of the head. Go to the right and do the same thing, coming down to the same height. Now let's connect these two lines with a straight line going across. We're also going to add a trim on the inside of the head. Starting back on the left, draw a straight line coming down. Do the same thing on the right. Let's add two half circles along the side of the head. Starting from the side of the glasses, curve out, round this out, and then pull that in. We'll line this up on the right, going out towards the right, and then back in. Now let's move down and draw on the body. Starting from the bottom corner on the left, we're going to round this out, going out, and then hooking that down. Let's do the same thing on the right, going out, and then down. And it'll come straight down the side of the body. I'm going to pull this down to right about there. Do the same thing on the right. And it'll round out the bottom corner of the body, starting back on the left, come down and pull that in. And then we'll connect the bottom with a straight line. Now we're going to add some detail to the body. Let's start at the very top with an upside down triangle. Underneath the top, draw a straight line going across. And we'll come down and in towards the middle. Let's layer a circle in behind the tip of that triangle, starting up on the left. We'll draw that circle going all the way around and we'll pull that back up on the right side. And then from the side of the circle, we'll draw two straight lines coming in. Just into right about there. Line this up on the right. Now let's connect the inside with a small half circle coming down and then back up. Let's add a line over on the left side of that circle, starting at the very top and pull a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom of the body. And then we'll add a rectangle on the left side. Starting from the top, start with a straight line going across. 
I'm going to come down towards the bottom of that rectangle. And we'll close off the bottom. Let's go back up to the top. We're going to step down, draw another straight line going across. Let's add a circle on the bottom left corner, starting from the top, go all the way around, and then back up. Let's add that lightning bolt symbol in the center, starting from the top, start with a straight line going across. On the left side, we're going to angle down and out toward the left, and we'll come in with a short line. Let's go straight down towards the bottom. I'm going to go back up to the top right, angle down and in with a short line, go straight out towards the right, and it'll connect the right side to the bottom with a straight line. Let's add a square on the top right, starting with a straight line going across the top, straight down the side, and then we'll close off the bottom. Now from the bottom corner, we're going to step up, draw another straight line going across, and we'll add two lines for the buttons. On the left side, draw a straight line coming down, do the same thing on the right. And then we'll trace this top rectangle along the inside, just leaving an even space gap all the way around. Now we're going to step down, draw that same length line going across. We'll come down the sides. Now from the left side, we're going to draw a straight line coming in. We're not going to go all the way. We're going to go about halfway. And then we'll connect the inside to the outside with a half circle. Coming down and then back up. And we'll add a small circle on the inside. Now we're going to move up to the top and draw a straight line going across, leaving a gap on the left and right. Now we're going to continue working down with the legs. Let's start with the lower torso. Starting on the left side, we're going to draw a curve that comes down in the middle round this out, and then go back up on the right. And then leaving a gap in the center, let's go to the left side, draw a curve going out, and then down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, and do the same thing, going out and down towards the same height. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, we'll curve the foot coming down, and then back up towards the toe, go to the right, and do the same thing. Now we're going to add a large toe cap along the front of the foot. Let's start on the left side. We're going to draw a half oval. We're going to go up towards the top, round this out, and then come all the way down towards the bottom of the foot. Let's do the same thing on the right. Go all the way up to the top, and then back down. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the outside of the leg. Let's start from the left hip. We're going to curve out, and pull that down on top of that oval. Then from the top of the foot, we're going to step up and draw a curve. We're going to come down and then up on the inside, line this up on the right, do the same thing. Now let's add a trim. We're going to step down, just follow that same curve going across. And then we'll add a trim along the top half of the leg, halfway between this point and the top of the boot, draw another curve. Coming down and then in, line this up on the right going out and then up. Let's draw that same size circle on the inside of the foot. We'll start on the left side, going all the way around and back up. Let's line this up on the right. And then we'll add that same lightning bolt inside that circle. Let's start on the left. Start with that straight line, come down and out on the left, straight in and then come straight down. Let's go up to the top right, angle down and in, go out with a short line, and then connect these two points with a straight angle line. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to move back up and draw the forearm and hands pointing out. Let's start on the side of the body, start with the curve going up and then out. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. 
And then we'll round out the edge of the wrist, starting back on the left, curve down, and then out. Do the same thing on the right. And then from the outside of the wrist, we're going to curve the arm coming down and then back up on the inside. Down, round out the arm, and then pull that up. And then we'll add a thick cuff around the wrist. Let's start from the outside. We're going to draw a bracket going out and then back in. And then from the inside, we're going to go in the opposite direction. Let's close off the edge of the cuff, starting from the outside. Just going to trace that same curve of the wrist going across. Let's do the same thing on the right. Just rounding out the edge of the cuff. And then connect the top with a curve. Now the hands are positioned with the outside fingers pointing up and the center finger folded down. So let's start from the top of the wrist. Start with a straight line going up towards the top of the finger. We'll round up the finger. And then come down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going straight up. Round out the finger, and then come back down. And then we're going to fold the center finger down, starting on the outside, curve up, and then bend that down. And then the outside finger is pointing up. Starting from the outside, we'll step in, start with a straight line going up, we'll round out the finger, and then come down. Now we're going to pull this down and in towards the outside of the wrist straight down and then bend that in. And then we'll layer the shoulders in behind the body and arm. Let's start at the base of the head, curve up, round up the shoulder and then down in behind the arm. And we'll add a trim along the bottom, starting from the wrist, we're going to curve in and then down in behind the body. Do the same thing on the right. And that's pretty much it. There's Surge from Brawl Stars. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and join me every Wednesday for Brawl Stars Wednesday. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.